and welcome everybody to our podcast. This is Welcome to Livingston, where we discuss uh, local businesses, have guests on, talk about what they're doing in the community. My name is Don Putkella. And I'm Angela Putkella, and we're with the Putkella Group Real Estate Professionals. Yes, and we are really excited about our episode today. With us today, we have Melissa Kuhnert with uh, Naughty Me down in Pickney. Thanks so much for coming today. Thank you very much for having me today. And we're so excited because we, we do so much with Brighton and Howell and in their big cities and so forth, but Pinckney is such an important part of Livingston County and our community. And so you're kind of representing. We're, I'm we're happy to be here to help you kick that off. Yeah, <laughs> and I will say like our, you know, our friends from Pinckney, I said, okay, <laughs> Who do I need to have on the show? And it, like, it was a resoundingly naughty me. You need naughty me. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's excellent. Thank yes. you. Yeah. So to start out, what what is naughty me? Naughty me on the river. That's our official full name, naughty me on the river. Um, we are a Michigan sourced ice cream shop, coffee shop, and gift store. So about 90% of what we sell in the store is sourced from Michigan. Local makers, even some here from Brighton and Howell, um, the local areas, Traverse City, all over the place in Michigan is where I source a lot of our stuff from. Um, even our ice cream is Michigan sourced and our coffee is Michigan sourced and roasted right in Novi um, by a small local roaster as well. So again, about 90% of what we source or what we sell in the store is made in Michigan. And um, so in addition to being a full service coffee shop, full service ice cream shop and people locally can do their shopping with us instead of having to go out of the community to do that. To do that. Um, we offer all kinds of fun events, food trucks and ladies nights and all kinds of stuff. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Boy, I can't wait to dive into yes. finding out more about all of this. So my next question was what makes your store <laughs> unique? But I, I think, we've, you know, there's, there's probably a lot. Well, the main thing that makes us unique is that we are located along the Huron River. So the Huron River chain of lakes is a big body of water out there. Um, it encompasses uh, seven or nine, depending on how you count the lakes. Some count the little teeny ones, some don't. Um, that goes through the Huron River, so including Zuki Lake all the way down to Portage and Little Portage Lake. Um, if you're familiar with Zuki Lake Tavern, um, also in Livingston County, they are part of that system. And so we're kind of down at the opposite end of the chain and uh, we are located right on the river. There are four other businesses there with us, um, and I'll mention those, the Trading Post, or Creek Craft Cider, Riverside Pizza, and then Pinckney Auto, which is an um, auto repair, repair shop. So we've got our ni a nice little shorefront of different businesses um, down at that end of the chain. And um, so for us, people can come and get ice cream and coffee, and they can come by boat, they come by car, we get golf carts, we get bikes and scooters and walkers and all kinds of stuff. So it's really kind of cool. Um, people walk into our store and it has kind of a coastal feel to it, which is exactly what I wanted because I grew up on the lakes. Uh, the water means everything to me and I do a lot of travel tropically. Uh, so I wanted it to bring that to our area. That is so cool. And I love that you're right on the river. I mean, it's just so unique. Even if you're not someone that is on the chains and using boats to drive there and see people pulling up and getting out of their pontoon to come up. Yeah. A little bit of history on that. So my family has owned a business in Livingston County um, for over 60 years, a business that my grandparents started, and it was also on the river um, or on the lake system on Portage Lake. Um, it was Claves Marina. It's been purchased by another local business now, but I literally grew up on that property at that business. My grandpa and grandma amongst building that whole business offered canoe rentals way back in the day. And hanging in my store is a picture of me helping my grandpa with those canoe rentals. And I still own four of those canoes and we still rent those canoes out. They're the same exact canoes that my grandpa rented way back in the 80s. Um, they were excellent. They last forever. They're very wow. heavy. <laughs> um, so they're not like the modern canoes, but they are nice. And my goal is to get people out on the water. People that can't, like you said, don't live on the river system or the lakes or whatever the, the situation is, I help them get out there. So we do offer kayak canoe paddleboard rentals. And now we have also, uh, it's called Na Tiki Me, which is our custom built tiki boat. It's a pontoon boat, tiki boat. Um, and it sits eight people, and you can rent that with a captain, bring your own food and drinks, and we get you out on the chain, and you can go swim or tour or whatever you want to do. Oh, that's fantastic. 
That's so neat. Now, how far in advance do people have to book something like that usually? Kayaks, canoes, paddle boards, often we can do walk-ins for those. We do recommend and ask that people book ahead of time, but we'll get same-day reservations pretty frequently for that. Um, Nautiki Me, we do tell you that you should reserve, if you have a date in mind that you want to do, so a birthday party, Mother's Day, Father's Day, whatever you want to do, book it as far in advance as possible. Um, it doesn't necessarily get booked up. We do three tour, up to three tours a day with that. It's a three-hour tour. Yes. <laughs> I, I hear Gilligan <laughs> singing in my head. Yes. <laughs> yes. So it's a three-hour tour with the captain. Um, so we can do three of those a day. So it doesn't always get booked up. But again, I hate when people are disappointed because they wanted to go on a specific day and I can't accommodate that. So book as far in advance as possible, basically. Absolutely. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So for the canoes, kayak rental, um, paddleboard, paddleboard. paddleboard yeah. So as far as they go out, they have to come back or yeah, is there a we pickup? Are, no, <laughs> we are what is called a paddle out, paddle in uh, facility. So we do not have a permit to do um, uh, any deliveries, whatever. Uh, uh, I can't think of the word is for that, but, <laughs> but no, they have to bring them back. So you can start at our location and park a car at a different location and transport them back on your own if you have the ability to do that. We do allow people to do that, um, but most people just don't have that ability. So you start from our um, location, from our docks and our launch, um, and then you paddle out. We can give you a map and show you some nice places to go, whether you want to paddle the whole time or stop and swim a little bit. Uh, we have a lot of families that paddle just a little ways, and I have a nice spot, little cove area that they can stop and swim, um, and it's a nice kind of sandy bottom and that type of thing, and they play out there for a little while, and then they paddle right back. So right. Um, it works out pretty well. Good, and it's not a fast-moving river, so it's... Yeah, our part of the river, so the Huron River can be very fast-moving, and after that crazy rain the other night, um, we did we, it, it, it does fluctuate, but it's very paddleable is what we say. If you go over the dam, so there is a dam that separates um, the the lake part of the Huron River to the actual river part of the Huron River, you can portage over that dam. And then once you get down there, that is definitely more of like a, you don't necessarily have to have paddle experience. There's no big rapids or anything, but it's nice to have at least a little bit of experience. Um, so we do have people that are a little bit more experienced that park with us, park a car down at one of the metro parks, paddle all the way down there, and then drive themselves back. I love that there's so many options. There's lots of options. Yeah. It can be a little bit confusing, but if anyone ever has questions, they can message us, they can email us, we'll get them going. It's fine. We, we got we got it. Yeah. It, <laughs> we can it, give directions. You know, summer in Michigan, yeah. you know, fun things to do. You know, everybody thinks about, oh, I should do this, I do that. But, you know, I'm sure a lot of people don't know where they can where access to go, these things. And they're intimidated about how to get started or, um, you know, like... I don't know. I Again, I travel a lot. And sometimes I travel to these crazy places and I'm a little intimidated. How do I get out there? How do I do this? Well, you got to just find the right people and, and we're the right people. We can we can help you with that. Well, awesome. And it's one of those things that a lot of people think they have to go up north to find that. Right. And absolutely not. Right. Yes. Yeah. We're in a beautiful community around here. There are so many lakes, so many rivers. And as you mentioned, there's a lot of people that live around here, but they don't really have the resource to get out on those. So right. again, we try to help out with that. And even if you don't want to go out and paddle, so you want to enjoy the river and you want to enjoy the view and you don't want to necessarily get out there and paddle or you don't have the funds to rent the tiki boat, come and get ice cream, come and grab a coffee and sit on our riverfront and just enjoy the view. We also host food trucks every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday through October. So usually it's May Early May through October is when we host food trucks. And again, it's all uh, Friday through Mondays. We have a standing permit for that. And so you can come out and grab late lunch or dinner um, and then grab ice cream for dessert and enjoy that riverfront. Wow. That is so cool. Now, how many food trucks do you have at any given time and do they kind of rotate mm -hmm. which ones? We always only have one truck at a time. Okay. Um, our lot isn't really that big and I don't want the trucks to have to compete for each other um, to do that. Um, so just one truck at a time every day. And it's not, we have probably 15 different trucks on schedule this year. Um, some come once a month, um, some do a weekend long, and then they'll do another weekend later on. It's just a random schedule, really. Um, the best resource for the food trucks right now is our website. So if you go to our website, um, www.naughtymeontheriver.com, um, um, the full food truck Schedule. schedule. Thank you. I'm losing my train of thought here. <laughs> Full food truck schedule is there. And there's a link to the truck that you can also go to and see what their menus are and that type of thing. 
I don't know what they're serving. Don't message us and ask what their menu is. I've got not a clue. Some of them I know if they're gluten-free or vegan or that type of thing. We get those questions a lot. And we do have a good rotation for that type of thing, too. A lot of the trucks cover those dietary needs. So we try to serve something for everybody, at least some of the time, most of the time. Well, and another thing for those on the river and such, be able to come by and hit the food truck. And then I know when we've been down there, you have that area for the kids that has like little games and such, which is so cool. Yep. We call it our larger than life game area. So there's, um, now there's like two ax throwing games out there. There's a giant connect four. There's a giant Jenga out there. Um, there's a bunch of, um, cornhole games out there that people can pull out. So yeah, there's that whole area back there. I think those get used just as much by adults as they do by the kids though too. (laughs) Well, since they're giant, you know, adults feel like a kid then, right? right. (laughs) Yes. Yes. That's, um, so I have the best, I want to talk a little bit about my crew. I have the best crew. Um, almost all of my employees are under the age of 21. Um, I have one employee, Callie, I call her my Callie girl. She's my lifesaver. Um, she's the adult with me, um, and she has kids at home too, but, um, the rest of my staff are all under 21 and the majority of them are 16 and 17 and they are excellent. I have the best crew this year and they're so kind and they're so nice and they just want people to have fun and, um, and that type of thing. But our big joke at the store is the, the game area because they spend a good portion of their time cleaning up out there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a big fence that separates us from the trading post that eventually is going to get taken down. Um, but I don't know why it is, but everyone, it, they throw the, the axes to the axe game over that fence. And the kids are always like, I call all my employees, my kids. Yeah. <laughs> They're all my kids. The kids are always like, why do they do that? And I'm like, just because they want to see you go around and pick them up and smile about it. So, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> Makes it fun and good for you because for young people to have that opportunity to learn about having a good work ethic and to have a positive place for them to want to come work and learn how it's done We well. have, they have fun. Um, they tell their friends they have fun. People walk in all the time and say, do you like working here? And they're like, oh my gosh, we love working here. So uh, that makes me feel good. And I love... I tell them every day they make me crazy (laughs) because they do. And some of the things I'm like, what, what are you, what are you doing? And then they get that aha moment of, oh my gosh, they've figured things out. Um, But the most fun is just watching them interact with, especially the little kids um, or the parents with the little kids and that type of thing and making people smile. I tell everybody and I tell, especially my staff, we don't do anything difficult. We serve ice cream and coffee. Nobody should leave angry when they leave our store. <laughs> so. right. Well, it's a very chill atmosphere <laughs> yeah. here, you know, just yep. through and through. It's yep. very... We just have fun. We just have fun. Yeah. yeah. Relaxing and all that. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And I'm assuming you know, during the summer, it's a fun job to have. I mean, and you're always busy, we which are, is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, we are busy. They definitely work their booties off there. So um, it's not necessarily, I do tell them when they hire in, it is not necessarily an easy job. We do have kids that come in occasionally and they think it's just going to be fun and games, just scooping ice cream and that's all they're doing. And I'm like, well, don't forget you have to mop every single night and do dishes all day long. And there's usually lines and, you know, so there's, there's a lot of work that goes into it, but I, they don't, they don't complain about it. They, they get it and they, they have fun and they learn new things and they make some good money. So. Good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's what yeah. it's about. Yep. Absolutely. And speaking of the ice cream, now what's mm-hmm. the favorite flavor? Like what's everybody into? So we serve primarily Hudsonville ice cream. Hudsonville, I loved when I was sourcing our products and that type of thing. I wanted an ice cream that was made in Michigan. And I fell in love with Hudsonville because their family story is very similar to my family story. They've been in business for a very long time. And the younger generation is taking over for the older generation and that type of thing. Primarily, we sell Hudsonville. We do, I'll I'll add a side note, we do offer some vegan flavors, gluten-free and dairy-free flavors as well. So we do have a little bit for everybody. Gosh, favorite flavor. I would say deer tracks and super scoop. So think your moose tracks and your Superman. Hudsonville doesn't use the trademark names, if you will. So. Um, Deer Tracks and Super Scoop, probably, but we've got Traverse City Cherry, oh, yeah. Coffee Lover Dream. We also do um, one of our good popular items is our affogados because we are a full service coffee shop and we serve ice real. I'm going to say real ice cream, not soft serve. Um, we can do what's called an affogato, which is an Italian dessert, which is scoops of ice cream with espresso poured over top. Wow. So I think our Probably our most popular flavors of ice cream for that are the Coffee Lover Dream and the Seaside Caramel. We do a lot of those. Wow. 
That sounds delicious. Yeah, it's really good. And we can do that decaf too. People are like, oh, it's too late. They, we, you know, our, our big ice cream crowd is later in the evening. So people are like, oh, it's too late. I can't do coffee now. Oh, we can make that decaf for you. <laughs> yeah. No big deal. Oh. <laughs> we actually tried to, we stopped by yesterday. Oh. Yes. And then, and then the line was so long. Yeah. We're like, you know what? We've had ice cream like three times in the last five days. We're gonna... <laughs> but it's yeah. so nice to see. I mean, it, it was so nice to see so many people there. And it just feels like such a friendly atmosphere. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we try, we try, like I've, like I've said, we just try to have fun and keep it lighthearted. And um, it is early in the season. So I've got some new kids that are kind of figuring things out. You probably came at the time my team lead was sending me an SOS. Please send, please send help. <laughs> quite a bit, quite a bit. It, and the line was Which, moving, but it was crowded because yes, yes, people, like yeah. it was a place to be. Yes. And, and we did a have a food day, truck so. yesterday and it was a very popular food truck too. So they definitely brought in a crowd. I think they sold out early too. So. So yeah, you probably came at the crazy yes. busy time. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that's one of those things that's great about living in Michigan. You know, our summers are so amazing, mm-hmm. but when you think about it, it is a short season, it's so right? So short. We so have the three second months, the, basically. Yeah. Right. So the second the weather gets yep. good, we all rush out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and this weekend, this last weekend was a, a prime example of it has gotten nicer earlier. So I didn't staff as heavy as I usually do. So usually, I mean, when you go to ice cream, you're going to find lines occasionally. But yes, right. like you said, they move fast. So don't be afraid well, to come in. Even if there's a line, we'll get you in and out. Because yeah. even as you're outside, it's a nice sunny day. Yeah. So yeah. And then as you enter into the store there's such great merchandise and fun and cute like how do you find all those neat things and to know that it's all from like michigan here is awesome so i use a couple of different resources i do have a decent number of consignment artists um, and makers that are like i said early on uh local um i've got some from dexter ann arbor gosh where um trying to think of what i've got but anyways all over the place and a lot of them come to me um, and ask if i've got room uh, for their product and from there i just want to make sure that it's a um, a well-made product um, and that it would be something that i think would sell well in our store Um, we try to have some unique stuff i try not to carry things that other local stores have so we're not competing with other small local businesses um, if somebody asks for something that we don't have, then I like to refer them to a different, you know, little store like mine. Um, and I hope they're doing the same thing. Nice, yeah. um, and then I've got a couple of like online um, resources that I marketplace type things that I use as well. And from there, I just search Michigan made and contact those people. And again, see if it's something that works in our price point and um, for what people are looking for or asking for. We also... Um, our name, <laughs> our name is Naughty Me on the River. And oh, people I ask, to ask yeah, you about that. Yeah. People ask all the time. And this goes a little bit towards some of the products that we sell too. Um, our name is derived by a couple of different things. First of all, and I've been very good today, but I have a <laughs> potty mouth and um, I tend to swear a lot. Um, my kids don't get hired without knowing that they're going to hear swear words frequently. And I tell them I never swear at anybody. I just swear about things. <laughs> but we also like to have fun with um, snarkiness. Um, so we do have some snarky products in our store. Um, right now, one of our most popular items is a handle line called Malicious Women. This is one of my product <laughs> lines that is not made in Michigan, but I love them because they're Honestly, the the products that I sell in the store that aren't made in Michigan, they all have a reason that I sell them as well. I'm very picky about what's not made in Michigan that gets brought in. So they all have, all have a reason. But it is a um, women-owned business, and the reason they started their business is very unique. And people can look that up if they want to. I won't go into that. But anyways, they make a very snarky line of candles. And right now, for the time of year it is, the favorite is one that is titled, I'm sorry, my kid is the reason you drink. <laughs> oh, I love that. And then they're all infused by, and then it has another little snarky saying that goes along with it. So they're super cute, and they're very nice soy glass candles and that type of thing. So we sell a whole line of those, and we sell some snarky bracelets that have words that I'm not allowed to say here, and just all kinds of fun stuff, too. And then the other derivative of our name is um, for Naughty Me is Nautical Michigan, because we're on the river and on the lake system, and because we're based in Michigan. So that's where we're from. Perfect. I love that. Yes. And we are Naughty Me. And we tell people all the time, what happens at Naughty Me stays at Naughty Me. People come in all the time. Don't tell my wife I got ice cream today. (laughs) (laughs) What what happens at Naughty Me stays at Naughty Me. We never tell anybody. (laughs) Perfect. So we have fun with that, too. That's good. And I know you have so many unique stuff. One of the things I saw 
when I've been in there is you have those drink bombs. Yes, yes. So those are another, unfortunately, not made in Michigan, but literally I cannot find them anywhere else. And again, it is a women-owned business um, out of, I think it's, I'm going to say California, but it might be Texas. I'm not sure off the top of my mind. Um, But those are super cool. Huge seller with those, especially being on the um, chain of lakes. Um, So they are, they're called My Drink Bomb, and they're just small little balls and you drop them into um, a pre-cocktail, if you will, or a cocktail, if you will. And um, so you mix them with, um, I'm drawing a blank right now, carbonated water, like a LaCroix, for example. Um, and then you drop the bomb in there. And if you want to add your own liquor, you can do that. So rum, vodka, tequila, whatever. You mix them together. Um, it fizzes just like a bath bomb would basically oh and it turns gosh. it into the best cocktail and it's instant and it's right there and they taste really good so for people that either aren't you know great at making their own cocktails or don't have options at home or are out on the boat and want something a little bit different you can have your little cocktails and bombs and just drop them in there and you're good to go yeah and i had never seen that before yeah they're super cool uh, yeah. yeah they're super unique and um there's um edible glitter that goes with them and rimming sugar that you can put with them so they can be super fancy too. So we sell a lot for um, like engagements and birthday parties and, you know, that type of thing, celebrations. Great. Yeah. So for a big event that someone is looking for an unusual gift, you know, that's something they can find at your place that they may not. Otherwise, they may have come in for ice cream and not realized everything else. Exactly. Typically when new people, someone who has never been in our store before comes in, they literally stop in the door and say, oh my gosh, I did not know all of this was here. (laughs) And we're not that big, but we do have a good wide variety of things. Um, We also sell um, greeting cards and gift bags and tissue paper. So we get a lot of last minute people just stopping by to grab a quick little gift for mom, dad, grad, um, teachers, birthdays, whatever it may be. And that's exactly what we want. We want to keep people stopping in and keeping business local to Pinckney and Livingston County and the local areas and not going and driving out of our way to go to Target or Walmart or wherever Big boxes else. Right, and exactly. All that. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah, exactly. And you're going to find the more unique stuff anyways. And um, that's what we that's what we look for. And I'm always I'm always open to new ideas and hey, you should carry this or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and so On that point, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask in terms of coffees, because we Mm -hmm. have a fellow podcaster here that he's been on ours, we've been on his, he is fantastic, but he also has his own line of coffee. Uh Um, So I'm not sure in terms of that's something that you So again, we use a roaster out of Novi and um, Aviva Coffee is who that is. And they do roast specially for us. So we do have our own espresso Uh, house brew. That is awesome. Um, Yeah, exactly. And we do sell bagged coffee as well. So we've got a bunch of different flavors. A lot of the flavors we carry are just their, um, I'm not going to say their basic flavors, but they do sell them to others as well. So they're not necessarily unique to us. But we do have Traverse City Cherry, Michigan Blueberry or Blackberry. We have a blueberry and a blackberry, and I don't remember which name is which. But anyways, um, a lot of Michigan-themed Mackinac Island fudge uh, flavor. And then obviously we have a house um, brew and a dark and espresso that we sell too. Um, and what we make in our store, again, we're a we're a full coffee shop. So anything, I always say, anything that you can get at your bucks, you can get with us as well. <laughs> there you go. Um, we also offer, um, we don't have a drive-thru, and, and people bring that up all the time. Well, I would come to you if I could get it quick. Well, we have a mobile order app, and it's called Joe Coffee, and you put it on your phone, um, and it works just like a box app. <laughs> <laughs> um, you order ahead. We get it ready and waiting for you. We have a little area, um, and then you can just stop in the parking lot and run in real quick and pick it up and go. I promise you stopping and getting out of your car and coming and picking it up and leaving at our location is faster than waiting in any drive through line. Um, you just have to get out. And honestly, I tell people all the time, too, if you have kids in the car or a disabled person in the car, you can't get out of your car, just put that in the notes. We'll bring it out to you. Tell us what your car looks like. We'll bring it out. It's not a big deal. That's fantastic. Yeah, we don't mind doing that. Um, it offers or it um, tracks rewards, so you can earn free coffee, free drinks, that type of thing. And you can, all of, you can order all of our coffee, um, lattes, espressos, um, our avocados, all of that on the app. Um, we also do have a line, uh, we do some pre-made breakfast sandwiches and breakfast burritos as well. So you can order those. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, we have a loaded toast we make. So for example, avocado toast, but we also have um, all kinds of, it's kind of like a build your own thing. You pick your bread, 
pick a spread to go with it and then pick your toppings. One of the more popular ones is um, bread with um, like toast sourdough, for example, with um, peanut butter, oats, bananas, and a little bit of honey drizzled on there. So we sell a lot of that one too. So anyway, so we've got that as well. Um, you can also order our smoothies, our frozen lemonade. We offer boba tea and boba lemonade. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. No, you just have a ton of stuff going on there. <laughs> we have and, a lot. <laughs> and I was on your website. You guys do like events as well sometimes. We do. So um, we actually do two different things. So along those lines, um, recently over the winter, we took over um, an office that I was renting out separately. Um, originally when we started business, we didn't know how busy it was going to be. And someone wanted to rent that office. And I was like, I would love to have that income (laughs) coming in. Um, but as we've grown, we needed that space and he was moving out. So we took that over and we turned it into our event and classroom space. Um, we do all sorts of classes and workshops in there. So we have crochet regularly. Uh, we have paint and pour classes right now. One of the big classes that we're doing is beach glass classes. And we work with individual instructors on all of these classes and workshops. So we don't teach anything. We just bring in the, the instructor and they offer whatever they're going to offer and we help advertise that and help them get bookings for those classes and workshops. And we hold those in that room. We can also do birthday parties. We've done baby showers in that room. So it's a small space. It seats comfortably 10 to 15 people depending on what you're doing. Um, so not anything huge or whatever. Um, and we can help cater with the food that we have or with some of our local, um, vendors, or you can bring in your own food for those. So yes. And then we do events. So we just had a ladies night. We usually do a ladies night two or three times a year. Um, and it's just like any other ladies night you go to. I usually bring in some outside vendors. This last one we had, um, Two different spas that came in. Um, one of them, M. Glam Bar, she was doing Botox right on the spot and um, lip something. I can't remember what they're called. I don't have that done. <laughs> um, and then we also had Element 36 Spa, and they were doing eyebrow <laughs> and lash tints right on the spot. Um, and I had uh, somebody doing uh, permanent jewelry also. And Color Street Nails were there. So usually for our events, especially our ladies' nights, we bring in some extra vendors that are local because I want to help support other local business. So we do that as well. Um, all of those are always advertised on our Facebook pages and then also linked on our websites and, and that type of thing. So you can always find out what we're doing. We offer um, Noel Night every year where we have Santa come in. Uh, we have the Easter Bunny come every year. Uh, we have a witches and warlocks night out. So not just witches, but witches and warlock <laughs> night out nice. um, in October. It's usually the week. I think it's the 19th, but don't quote me on that. Um, of October, um, we have a food truck come that night and we just invite families to come and dress up and enjoy the time. We've done pumpkin painting during that. We usually ha- offer some other stuff that goes along with that. So Great. So through so, yeah. all seasons, you mm-hmm. know, so yep. even though summer's there's always something a popular going time, on. there's still lots of great things yes. through the fall, winter, and yes. spring. Yes, we are open year-round, and we, we don't offer a ton of events during the summer because it's just inherently busy anyway. Um, but we do offer a lot of events during the fall, winter months to try to get people to come out to us. <laughs> and being on the river, I noticed that you had had a boater safety class in there once as well. Yeah, that actually got rescheduled, so it's still coming up. Um, and we work with Washtenaw County um, Sheriff Department on that. Um, I have a good relationship with them after being in the boating business for a super long time. So yeah, they come and do boater safety classes um, in that workshop. That's actually, depending on when this airs, I think it's June 8th. Um, so if anyone's looking to get into a class, that's still open. That is so cool mm-hmm. because, and that's important too, because you're on the lakes and, mm-hmm. you know, with the kids coming, safety so important. I remember when I was a kid, you know, I had to go to boater safety class and snowmobile safety class before I was allowed <laughs> to do either yes. of those. <laughs> absolutely. Yep, absolutely. And the boating community is growing so much. So um, even though I'm not really part of the marina community and the boater community in that aspect anymore, um, it's still it's still super important to me. So I do like to see people take boater safety co- courses. Adults, if you're buying a boat and you've never had a boat, <laughs> or buying a different type of boat, or just haven't driven a boat in a long time, it's a good idea to take one of those classes. The refresh is very important. Absolutely, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Absolutely, I love that. Yes. Yeah. Really makes a big difference. Good for you. You just pulled that out of there. I love that. I do. I say that a little too much in general, but it's the truth on so many things. (laughs) I'm like, well, why wouldn't you? You Exactly. And it just, you know, since we had talked about the chain of lakes, 
from the real estate side of things, since that's sort of, you know, where we come from, it's astounding because some people, they want waterfront, but they'll only accept the chain of lakes. Yes. You know, they yes, don't care about absolutely. any other lake other than in there. Yeah. Funny story with that. Again, I grew up right on the Huron River chain of lakes, the Portage Zuki chain. Everybody calls it different. Officially, it is called the Huron River chain of lakes. Um, but uh, I grew up on that chain, but I cannot afford to live on that chain. I'm blessed to own a business on that chain, but my home is over on the Bruin and Patterson chain. And I love it over there. It took me, it took me a little bit of a soul search to like accept that I was not home anymore on my body of water, but now I just, I love it. And I, I'm able to do both. So it's great. Um, and I was going to mention something about that too, as far as real estate, we'll bring you guys into this. <laughs> um, Nautiki me is great for that. We actually have real estate agents occasionally, uh, rent the boat to take, well, it's usually the client that's renting the boat just <laughs> for you um, uh, that will rent the boat and take their agent out with them and tour the chain of lakes and say, this is where I want to be. Find me a house in this area. Or if they have several houses they're looking at and they want to see the waterfront and see what it's like out there on a day and that type of thing, they, they do that. So That's a great yeah. suggestion. Yeah, because not Tiki Me is great. I mean, um, again, that's our custom built Tiki boat. It seats up to eight people and the captain drives you around. Um, you're paying for the captain to be there, so utilize them. Uh, we have families. We just had a family this last weekend that went out to celebrate Mother's Day a week late and they just booked another one for Father's Day. <laughs> Um, we have um, company parties and picnics that rent the boat. Um, and then we have family reunions, bachelor parties, bachelorette parties. So it can you get used and rented for it's fantastic, all especially types of things. having the driver right yes, there. I mean, exactly. sometimes you can rent a boat, but mm -hmm. you know, you have to be the one to right, operate you have it to generally. Be the, exactly. Yes. And then you have the stress that goes along with that. And yeah. where do I go and how do I get parked and, you know, all of that. So our yeah. captain does all of that for you. Yeah, especially not feeling comfortable to yeah. drink. You need to be able to yeah. feel comfortable yeah. and have a good time. Yeah, exactly. Well, well, and, you know, every yeah. lake and the chain and such is so unique. You need to know, you know, what side you need to be on, where exactly. are the sandbars, all of those things. Yep. So. And, you know, your kids want to go out and swim. Where's a good place to do that? Um, yes. And we do allow that. We allow, you can swim from the boat. Um, you can park on the sandbar. We literally have some people that just <laughs> leave our dock and drive to the baseline sandbar and sit there for their three hours because <laughs> that's what they want to do. And that's fine. We have others that uh, we want to swim, but we want to swim in deep waters. Where's a good, safe place to do that? And then we've got others that they want to see the chain. And so we do that with them. So my yeah, goodness, we yeah, pretty I much mean, do whatever they want. Yeah, you are everything to everybody. <laughs> this is such a wealth of even, you know, the stuff that we knew of. I don't know about our listeners here, but we sure have <laughs> learned a lot about Naughty Me today, for sure. There's a lot of parts and pieces. I feel I feel bad for my kids, again, my staff, my kids, <laughs> because there's a lot for them to learn. And by the end of the summer, they're like, wait. I think I know it all now. Maybe. <laughs> right now, if you go in early on the, in the season, <laughs> they might get that blank look on their face like, oh, wait, where, how do I, how do I answer that question? <laughs> Help. But, you know, we figured it out. So, yes. Yeah. No, that's really great. <laughs> now, is there anything that we haven't had a chance to touch on that you wanted to make sure to mention? You know, check us out. Just, you know, small business is so important to the communities. Um, I employ, um, right now we have 17 kids and two adults <laughs> uh -huh. and uh, my husband occasionally. So, you know, we employ all of them and it, it that goes back into the community. We do a lot of donations um, to the to the local communities. And I can't do that if people aren't coming in and purchasing and making purchases and telling their friends and family about us. So shop local, please shop local. It might take you five extra minutes to drive out of your way to shop local or come get coffee from us instead of quote unquote bucks, but shop local because we offer just as much as everybody else does. And that's just, that's just our big thing. That's, you, you know, offer I, more. Yes, yes, we do. We <laughs> offer a lot and, um, and we enjoy doing it and you know, it's coming straight from me and from us and my family and that type of thing. And all the kids who work for me, um, you know, you're supporting all of them as well. So shop local. Yeah, oh. that sounds great. <laughs> and even for those that don't necessarily always end up in the pink knee area, if you are, if you happen to be out there for something, graduation party this summer or, you know, visiting a friend, you know, Make check, us a, check them out. Make, make it a, a destination. Day trip. Yeah. 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 Make us your destination for the weekend or during the week or whenever. If you need a night to get away. Um, again, there's Ore Creek Craft Cider right down the road from us, too, on the same little block. Um, if you want to drink, we don't have a liquor license. But if you want to drink, you're more than welcome to go over and get a to-go from them. Come over, get food from the food truck, sit at the riverfront, eat your dinner, drink your Ore Creek Cider, let the kids play the games, the larger-than-life games in the back while you're doing all of that. 
come on and get ice cream um, or frozen lemonades or whatever during your dinner or after. And it's a whole little destination. So much fun. 100%. It's not the same old place as every yeah. time. You know, like, let's let's shake this up. Exactly. And for those people heading down to Dexter to Ann Arbor, instead mm-hmm. of taking the freeway, take the back road. You'll pass right by it. It's a beautiful drive. You will not be sorry for the drive. It is no. beautiful. Everybody out there just says says the same thing. And that's why it's growing so much out there, too, because people drive out there and then they never want to leave. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> it's so fantastic. It is. So. Cool. So where, I don't know if we hit on it, where exactly <laughs> are you located? Yeah. Because so, we've talked about right, it. But. Yeah. So our address is 9260 McGregor Road, Pinckney. Uh, we are pretty much right in the middle of uh, McGregor Road off of either off of M36 or Dexter Pinckney Road. So either way you can get to us. That's fantastic. And mm-hmm. then in terms of if our listeners want to find out more, mm-hmm. your website, your socials, where can they find you? Yes. The- so um, Naughty Me on the River has its own Facebook, Instagram, TikTok pages. So just Naughty Me on the River, N-A-U-T-I-M-I on the River. Uh, the Tiki Boat, Nautiki Me, has its own Facebook page as well. I can never spell this one without thinking about it. It's so many eyes. N-A-U-T-I-K-I-M-I dot com or under Facebook. So Nautiki Me. Um, and then everything has its own website as well. So just under those names. Excellent. Yeah. Well, then go check yeah. it out and, and come see them in person, you know. Feel it, taste it, just experience it, and Absolutely. know that the river's right there for those that don't have the waterfront and really would would love that. You yeah. know, come enjoy it with us. Yeah, yes. Check it out we'd for love the to day. see you. Yep, let us know that you heard us here because I would love to know that too. Cool. Right. Well, thank you so much for coming in Absolutely. today. We really appreciate it, and please check them out um, and check our uh, page out on Facebook. Uh, we're on anywhere that you can find podcasts. Welcome to Livingston. If you just Google it. Uh, please like and subscribe. And thanks again for listening today. Yeah, it's great having you. Thank yes. you so much. Welcome, Welcome to, to Livingston. Livingston.